McLaren Speedtail 2018. The McLaren Speedtail is a limited production hybrid sports car manufactured by McLaren Automotive revealed on October 26, 2018. This car is the fourth edition in the McLaren Ultimate series, after the Senna, the P1, and the F1. The car is also part of the 18 new cars or derivatives that McLaren will launch as part of its Track 22 business plan. The Speedtail is powered by a modified M840T from the 720S and a hybrid powered range to generate 1,036 horsepower, 773 kilowatts, 1,050 PS. The Speedtail uses a carbon fiber monocoque, with the passenger seats integrated into the chassis, as well as dihedral doors like other McLaren models. The company claims that the Speedtail has a top speed of 250.4 miles per hour. 403 km per hour, and can accelerate from 0 to 299 km per hour, 0 to 186 miles per hour, in 12.8 seconds. The maximum torque is 848 pounds feet, 1150 Nm, at 5500 to 6500 revolutions per minute. The car recharges while driving, the wireless charging pad is included with the car trickle charging it when not in use. The Speedtail is fitted with electrochromic glass, which darkens at the push of a button, eliminating the need for sun visors and also incorporates LED lights in the interior. Similarly, the Speedtail does not feature door mirrors, instead of using HD cameras mounted on the front guards that pop out when the ignition is turned on, and retract inside when the velocity mode is activated, which the company states are to reduce drag. The front wheels feature carbon fiber static covers to further reduce drag. On the exterior, it features hydraulically actuated active rear aerodynamic control surfaces, which are formed in flexible carbon fiber and are an integral part of the rear clamshell. The Speedtail has a three-seat layout, similar to the preceding F1, which has the driver sitting at the center of the car, and slightly forward of the two passenger seats. On the original F1, this layout was used to provide better visibility than a conventional seating layout. The interior of the Speedtail features directional leather finish which McLaren says makes it easy to slide into the seat but then subtly holds the occupant in place while they drive. And is strong enough that it can be used in place of carpet on the floor of the Speedtail. It also features titanium deposition carbon fiber which is when a micron thin layer of titanium is fused directly onto the weave and becomes an integral part of the carbon fibers construction, as well as thin ply technology carbon fiber TPT, consisting of countless 30 micron thick layers of carbon fiber. The company also offers bespoke luggage for speed tail owners, a practice implemented when the F1 went on sale. Testing was done in Florida at the Kennedy Space Center at the Johnny Bomer Proving Grounds. The shuttle landing runway was used for the tests. It also tested in tracks in Germany, Spain and Italy. In November 2018, McLaren planned to build 106 examples of the Speedtail, all of which have already been sold, at an MSRP of around 2.1 million. Due in part to its use of cameras in place of side mirrors and no side-mounted airbags, the Speedtail is not street legal in the United States even though around 35% of the total cars were bought by American buyers. A spokeswoman for the company stated that the car may be legal, pending approval by NHTSA, to be imported into the U.S. under the show or display law, which exempts cars that are historically or technologically significant from NHTSA safety standards but requires that owners not drive the vehicle more than 2,500 miles in a 12-month period. McLaren has made it clear that they will not offer assistance with importing or registering the Speedtail in the U.S. Production of the McLaren Speedtail commenced in the United Kingdom after high-speed testing was completed by December 2019. The prototype XP2 version had reached its terminal velocity more than 30 times, topping out at 250 miles per hour, 403 kilometers per hour and able to go from a standstill to 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, in less than 13 seconds. The first deliveries, 106 cars, were slated for February 2020 to Woking, England.